Welcome back to Justice. Actor Scott Bayo made big news when he first endorsed Donald Trump on Justice, this show, earlier this year. Since then, Scott and I have been to Trump Tower, where Scott got to meet Donald Trump, his candidate, and he even spoke with the Republican National Convention. Scott Bayo joins me now. Good evening, Scott. Hey, Judge. Always good to be with you. Thanks. Uh, good to have you here. All right. Now, I remember specifically you said that one of the reasons that you supported Donald Trump is because he spoke like a regular guy. <laughs> Do you think what he said or what was yeah. released from 11 years ago is that yeah. kind of stuff? Absolutely. First of all, I think 11 years ago, Trump was a Democrat. So doesn't he deserve a pass? <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Um, I like Trump because Trump is not a politician. He, he, uh, he talks like a guy. And ladies out there, this is what guys talk about when you're not around. So if you're offended by it, grow up. Okay? And by the way, this is what you guys talk about over white wine when you have your brunches. So take it easy with I your fully outrage. This like is that, the way the God. world works. It's not the, a big thing. Yes, yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Judge. Okay, but you know what, Scott? Here's the thing. People aren't what? used to hearing that, having an audio, listening to it. I know. But what shocks me is that I know this is frat house stuff. I know that this is locker room, football locker room talk. But, you know, when I hear, like, senators and congressmen, some of whom have actually played football, saying they're outraged, yeah, we, none of us like that language, but they do use it. And I'm not, I'm not defending them in that regard. I think it's horrific. But at the end of the day, this is the kind of thing that is... It's not unusual for guys, but how does Donald Trump convince women that he needs to win this election that he's not a pig? By saying, I'm a guy. This is how we talk. Listen, you could, you could not like the way I talk when I'm with my buddies, but you better like the way I'm going to fix stuff because my opponent is going to wreck the country open borders, says one thing to banks and speeches, says other things to the, to the country. I mean, lies about everything. She's, I don't know what else to say about this woman. She defends her husband, who was allegedly abusing women for, I don't even know how long, a quarter of a century? And then, um, and then she tries to destroy those women, calling them bimbos. So, you know, what do we want here? What, 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 if, if you're going to accept that, that she's defending her husband and going after these bimbos that she calls them, then you're going to have to accept Trump for being a guy. Okay. You know, I get the feeling, Scott, that she may feel badly that she lost your vote, and I want you to listen <laughs> to this sound for a minute. <laughs> Any regrets over losing the Scott Bayo vote? Not a one. So it wasn't heartbreaking that, that... No. Yeah, but Chachi, I mean, who's going to be next? You know what, Scott, I got to tell you, when I heard that, I, I was delighted. I said to myself, you know what, I think that one stung. What do you think? Oh, I thought it was very funny, although um, I'm a little concerned that I'm on, I'm on the uh, Clinton radar screen because um, people that disagree with her happen, you know, tend to disappear. <laughs> disappear well you know what I, that probably makes at least two of us here but right. you know what this is really about standing up and saying what it is that you believe in what do you want to hear donald trump say tomorrow night well, well i know it's going to happen i know that it's going to be it's going to be three against one uh so i think he's you know first of all i everybody is redeemable except trump and paul ryan in my in my opinion is a punk he's always been a punk and he was just looking for a way out he's a punk um, but tomorrow night they're going to say, hey, Mr. Trump, remember when you killed that person on Fifth Avenue with a bazooka? And he should say, yeah, right, okay, listen, here's how I'm going to fix the economy. Remember when you smacked your mother in the mouth 50 times when you were a little boy? Right, that's what I did too. Okay, here's what I'm going to do about the border. And remember when you did, it, it's going to be, and, and Hillary, who makes your pantsuits? So I, I think that he's going to have to be prepared for this barrage of, of, uh, I don't even know what the word is, hate or, or attack, and just deflect it and go right to what he wants to talk about. Because then they don't want to talk about issues, Judge. They lose when they talk about issues. Right. She's never talked about what she's going to do other than getting more intelligence to fight ISIS. Anyway, Scott Bayo, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thanks, Judge. Always good to see you.